Most of our projects that we work on, we, um, we set up steering committees in the um, communities. And the, one, the biggest project I think we had was to do the, um, the traditional knowledge um, for the Mackenzie Gas Project because um, it shows that like an organization like the Gwich'in Social and Cultural Institute could take on a project like that and we could, um, I guess, um, show our expertise. Culture is very important. Uh, culture is your language. Culture is the way you are as a Gwich'in person. Um, it encompasses everything that is Gwich'in. Here are some examples of our work, like we um, collected information on plants. Um, there's over, I don't know, 13 plants in here, outlining like, like medicines, what, what we could take from the land. Then we have the um, Kuchin traditional knowledge study of the Mackenzie uh, Gas Project area. We did a study with the elders. One of our projects is, um, involves uh, archaeology. And archaeology is uh, actually uh, looking back at um, past li lives of uh, people um, through um, doing excavations or, uh, or, um, or excavating, digging up, um, usually areas where we know people have been. One of the uh, first things that we thought of um, when we're teaching the language is that we have to get to the young people as early as possible and that's where something like this has come up where um, we have something like this and it's in both languages as well. So things like that that we work on, um, when we talk about uh, preserving, we try to um, get all age groups involved. We talk to the young people, we talk to, um, say for instance, Head Start, we have uh, preschool in there as well as um, we have elders coming in to teach them and then um, as we go into the schools that is um, we have a process called uh, um, it's the second language curriculum and in there we have uh, the language um, in sentence structure and it's progressing and what we're hoping to do down the line is eventually have students coming out of the school with a um, with a fluency level greater than what they have today. Younger people are beginning to go more into the modern ways, but they also have to think about like um, survival on the land. They have to keep those traditional skills and they have to use the land. Our long-term goals uh, at GSCI is um, number one, <laughs> to stop the erosion uh, of our Dinjiju uh, Ginjik, uh, and language. Uh, number two, uh, become experts in heritage. Uh, number three, uh, to involve the communities in our work. Uh, number four, uh, make uh, the research uh, results available to our, to our Gujan people and to a wider audience. And number five, to build uh, capacity within the GSCI. I know that uh, over the years I've talked to a great uh, many elders about the situation and a lot of them are saying it's, um, it's a language that's going to be lost but I go back to prophecies and I remember what uh, other, other people have said throughout the years and throughout the world and one of the things they said that is everything has turned around, uh, nothing has progress the way it has over the years, everything is turning around, It's everything is backwards. So they said that the young people are the ones that are going to bring it back, not the elders. One of our beneficiaries at one of our meetings said, Fred, it's good to, uh, it's good to have business. It's good to have a strong development corporation. We need it. It's good to have education. It's all great, but one thing I must tell you is that in order for them to be successful, we need healthy people. The Quichin leadership believes in its people. They believe in their community. 
They believe that the success of our people uh, doesn't rest on the tribal council. It doesn't rest on the Nitatwich Inn. It doesn't rest on the Inuvik Native Band or any organization. Our success is determined by the success of our people. I don't think we need to discuss any statistics, but I know that this region uh, suffers a lot in terms of uh, addictions, um, family dysfunction, and a lot of other areas, more so than in, in other communities because or other regions, because I think we just haven't had the time to recover. So it's very important that we look forward and try to, to mitigate and manage the what's here now and what is going to come. So that is going to be a, a, a difficult process, but I think with, with the correct funding in place, um, we could have some things that are, that are going to, to be very beneficial to our people. With that in mind, we now have set up another wellness camp, just about 15 kilometers upstream from Inuvik here. And that is in an effort to, to help make a stronger people and a healthy people. Part of the socioeconomic impact funding that we look forward to will cover the costs. And what, what I'm hoping is that in coordination with communities, with professionals, with elders, that we could come together and develop a program that would be unique to the people here. The more we have trained, the more we have healthy, the more we have working, the more we have um, indicating success, the more respect that, uh, as, a, as a people we will get. To make this a successful organization, you need, a, you need good staff. You need a united staff, and it, it's my belief that, uh, that it's a team that makes the organization. And, and you've got to be proud we have a good team in the Tribal Council. I think one of the proudest things being a, with my association with the Gwich'in is 95% of the staff are Gwich'in. It's people working for their people, and I think that's important. And even out of the, the, re the, the remaining 5%, the majority of that 5% are Aboriginal, born and raised in Northwest Territories. Out of 10 departments in the Gwich'in Tribal Council that we have nine managers that are Aboriginal. And uh, that says something about the organization, that we're building capacity within our own people. By having strong leadership, you also get uh, uh, the respect of government and industry. Having the respect of government and industry goes a long ways to, to improve upon your, your service delivery and program delivery to, to the beneficiaries because uh, you have the support of government. We are funding students to attend programs such as drill rig training, first class drivers, truck training, uh, kitchen helper, cooks helper, and any type of apprenticeship or towards trades. We also do short term administration courses for students who would like to work in an office setting in the oil and gas industry. Uh, to date, the Gwich'in Tribal Council has uh, trained 240 Gwich'in beneficiaries in the oil and gas industry. And then we also fund, uh, through Aurora College, the um, Trades Access Program, Traditional Arts, and the UCAP programs. And one of the main focuses is for us to, again, build partnerships and um, train our beneficiaries for future oil and gas industry and other employment opportunities.